After making significant achievements in the field of space technology, Indian Space Research Organization now seems to be focusing on eco-friendly automotive technologies. After developing fuel cell bus with Tata Motors, lithium-ion battery technology for electric vehicle applications, ISRO now has announced that it has developed a solar hybrid car system at its Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. Here are 5 facts about it. A hybrid vehicle is one which has two propulsion system. Some of the common examples are petrol electric hybrid cars. These cars can run on either petrol engine or electric motor. Usually, the car runs on electric motor at lower speeds and switches to petrol engine at higher speeds. This is because electric motor generates better torque characteristics compared to petrol engine. ISRO's hybrid car is similar to EBO example, that is petrol electric hybrid vehicle. However, an additional feature was a solar panel that would generate electricity needed to run electric motor. The working principle is as follows. A high-efficiency solar panel developed by ISRO for space application would generate electricity. This electricity will be stored in a lithium-ion battery, again a technology developed by ISRO for space application. The electricity from battery would be used to run the brushless DC motor and the generated power from this motor would be transmitted to the car's wheel using an integral gearbox system designed by ISRO. A brushless DC motor was selected as it offered better torque characteristics, reduced energy input and is lightweight. To increase the life of battery and to meet the peak load demand, a supercapacitor developed by ISRO was used in this system. This capacitor would help to meet the current demands more than 100 ampere. During this project development, the following challenges were achieved by ISRO. A solar panel to suit the roof of the car a supercapacitor to meet the high peak current of beyond 100 ampere level, integral gearbox to augment the performance of brushless DC motor, control electronics for the battery, solar panel interface, and drive electronics for running the motor in smooth way, conversion of internal combustion engine based vehicle to fit the electric motor. A Suzuki Omni van was modified and fitted with this solar hybrid system. The modified vehicle was tested in last week of March 2017. The tests included different terrain conditions including a uphill drive. Four months back, Tata Motors unveiled fuel cell bus jointly developed with ISRO. Recently, there was news about how ISRO's lithium-ion battery technology could be used for electric vehicle application. ISRO scientists along with other researchers have also worked on oxyhydrogen cell or HHO cell system to reduce the fuel consumption in an internal combustion vehicle and to reduce the pollution. In case you missed it, do watch our video on this announcement, link to which you can find in the description below. With these announcements, ISRO's new focus seems to be on utilizing technology developed for space application for eco-friendly automotive applications. What do you all think about ISRO's new role? Do let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe to our channel for more ISRO videos.